So it's been a year this month since we lost the legendary creator of Transformers Animated, Derek J. Wyatt. And when Derek was still with us, there was always this talk of one day the grand return of Animated and doing something with that imprint of Transformers and that brand. And it never came. And when we lost Derek last year, December 16th, 2021, in a lot of ways... I felt like there was still so much to be done, but it kind of passed with him. And it was very sad. And it's kind of even more sad because now it looks like there's so much Transformers animated stuff that we're going to be getting going into 2023 that I kind of want to put this all together in one segment, talk about what's happening with the Transformers animated brand going into 2023 what's going to be happening with this legacy uni line and just every just kind of take all the news that we've had over the past year since Derek's passing of all this information that got dumped into our lap and let this be a little bit of a celebration of Derek's life and wishing that he could have only been there to see everything that's happening now and what he would have been the toys he would have had in display in his collection uh, celebrating his designs, and maybe even he would have been able to contribute too, which would have been cool. But let's get into that. So we're going to cover everything kind of chronologically, kind of paint the picture. And the first time we really heard about animated kind of having some steam again was July 25th, 2022, this year. In July, there was the Hasbro Q&A, and it had Mark, Evan, it had Ben from marketing. And one of the questions were... If any of the Transformer brands were off limits, was there any kind of like NDAs or ownership from other companies? And it was Evan that was like, you know, nothing is off limits. He heard rumors online how Transformers Animated was off limits, but he wanted to say that those rumors are incorrect and they Hasbro has the rights to everything. Um, and then later on, there was a question asked that if Transformers Animated was part of the legacy brand... Would it be more like how Transformers Prime has been handled in terms of the aesthetic? Or would Animated kind of have its more unique look that it's always had all these years? And Mark chimed in and said that the, they saw the criticism that the Transformer Prime toys had. And with the Transformer Animated ones, when they get around to doing them, they'll try to find a better balance that'll please the fans, but while still keeping kind of a house style. And this is what Mark said back in July 25th of 2022. So that was it more or less. They said that also they were even looking into expanding the Transformers Studio Series line and possibly adding Transformers animated and or prime characters into it and how those would be a good place to put super screen accurate stuff, which more so implied that if there would be animated stuff in Legacy, it would be a fusion of, again, that house style, but still using a little bit of animated. And if you want something that's super screen accurate, it'll probably be found that in the studio series. So that was kind of suggested there. We jump forward to August 3rd, 2022, and we got a whole bunch of listings, a whole bunch of mysterious listings popped up. And in these listings, there was just, you know, it was Nemesis Prime, it was Bomb Burst, it was Scar, a whole bunch of listings. But in those listings, there was a deluxe class Prowl for a Transformers Legacy Evolution. We didn't know which Prowl it was. Could have been Generation 1, Beast Wars, Beast Machines, Robots in the Skies. Who knows? But we didn't know there was going to be a deluxe Prowl that was going to be involved in that. In that same group of listings was also a Junkie on 2, which we'll get into in a moment where this is all going. So that was back in August 3rd of 2022. Then we jump forward to September 8th. And we had our fan voting and we had our annual fan voting that Hasbro does. And to kind of commemorate the life of Derek Wyatt, they did a special fan vote that was your favorite Transformers animated character. And of course, historically, how this has always been done, they did it first with uh, Transformers Prime in 2020. Then he did it with Beast Wars in 2021. And both of those winners of those in 2020 was knockout for prime and for 2021 it was inferno for beast wars both of those that won ended up also getting toys so 
chances are whatever animated character would have won this one would also, historically, if anything says anything, would get a toy. So Lugnut won that, pretty much that voting, and as a result, chances are we're probably going to be seeing a Lugnut toy at some point. I'm imagining, I mean, personally me, I'd like something that's like a small leader class or a large Voyager. That's kind of would be the happy place that I could see that size for that character being done. But I don't know. Maybe I might be wrong. Chime in what you think on that one. Um, and yeah, so that happened and it's like, okay, there's that. Then October 1st, we got our very first look at the Legacy Evolution poster hyping up the Transformers Legacy line. And clearly in that poster, you could see there was a junkie on car that was based off of Lockdown's design, which pretty much indicates to us at some point we're going to be getting Lockdown from this mold, a pretty much animated inspired Lockdown. Now, it might come in the junkie on colors first, and then we'll see the animated Lockdown afterwards, but that poster pretty much indicates that Lockdown is probably going to be happening at some point. Then on December 1st of this year, we had a whole bunch of listings again, but this time for the elusive Transformers Generations Legacy Uni. Now that Uni could be Transformers Legacy Universe, United, Unity, Unicron. We don't know what that Uni stands for, but it's clearly whatever is going to be the next iteration of the Legacy line. We had Legacy, then Legacy Evolution, and then it'll be Legacy Uni whatever. And in those listings, there was a Tra, Transformers, Gen, Generations, Legacy, Uni, Voyager Class, Animated, Optimus Prime. So now we have an Animated Optimus Prime listing confirmed coming into the next year. So that adds to it. And then finally, we end up at December 18th, just a couple of days ago. We got our first look at two of those mysterious listings that we talked about back in August of both the Junkie on 2 and that Prowl. And who was that Prowl? Well, if you just were paying attention just the past week that I reported this segment where I broke it down uh, in deep detail, which I heavily suggest you go back and listen to that one if you haven't, uh, it was Transformers Animated Prowl, a deluxe class one. So now it looks like we're going to be going into 2023 with a whole bunch of animated stuff between definitely Lugnut being a part of it Transformers animated Prowl being a part of it, and of course, Lockdown being a part of it at some point, and an animated Voyager class Optimus Prime because of this listing, that gives us a whole bunch of animated characters right there for 2023. And if the animated Prowl that we just saw a couple days ago is any indication, that is a good way to know how these guys are going to visually look when these finally get released. And it looks pretty good with the Prowl, so if the Prowl is any indication, the rest of them are going to look pretty darn awesome too. So just kind of wanted to put this all together. It pretty much shows that we're going to have at least a handful of animated characters going into 2023 with this new legacy imprint. And that's very exciting considering how we went for so long without any animated product. And now we're getting a whole bunch of it dumped on us. That's really fantastic if you are a fan of that brand, and it really makes me wish that Derek was still with us today to see just how much new animated product would have came out. And it's just kind of sad that that's just how it is, but I'm pretty sure he's watching and he's laughing. <laughs> and he's like, man, they probably would have sent, not sent it to me anyways. I don't know. It's, that's something that always bothered me is how like they, you know, like we, we had to like fight pretty much to get Tarn sent to James Roberts or to get like a, a G axis sent to like Simon Furman. So I, I, I would only hope that if Derek was still with us today, that they would have sent those four different animated products that we're going to be getting hopefully uh, to Derek, you know, the, the, the new, the new blood is really good with that. So let's hope that would have been the case, but yeah, let me know what you think guys. Again, we're getting more animated, which is pretty hype. So Hopefully we'll learn more about it in the future. I mean, if if that list that I talked about, the August list, is any indication, we're probably going to be see images of, you know, that Voyager class bludgeon that was on that list. Crosscut was on that list. Shrapnel, the Scar, the core class Scar, the Swoop, uh, the Nemesis Prime. I mean, a lot of them you could probably figure out how they're going to look, but the Nemesis Lyo, um, we're probably going to see images of those really soon at some point, maybe even 
at the beginning of January. So let me know what you think, guys. Pretty hype stuff. But animated is coming back in a big way, and it's long, long overdue.